Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of EU4 as Ryzan. When we last left off... Oh, I could actually steal their maps. I don't know why I would want to do that, but we could. Anyway, yeah, we're in the middle of a war with Lithuania. Things are going mostly okay. And by mostly okay, I mean if it wasn't for this stupid uh, pretender uprising, we would actually be in a godly position. Where are you going? Oh my god, are you actually going to chase these guys down and kill them for me? You're like the best friend ever, even though you hate me and want me to die. Oh dear, and they're... These guys are kind of... They're kind of coming back up north, and that just scares me. Alright, you guys... Uh, you guys willing to peace out yet? Not yet. Not yet. Alright. But yeah, this is... Oh god, now what's happening? Oh no. Wait! Wait, where are the Ostrakhani Separatists? It's kind of down here. Maybe if we're like super, super lucky, the rebels will fight each other. Probably not. And we're just gonna get boned on every front. But you know what? That's okay. Not, it's not really okay. I'm actually immensely angry about that, but life, uh... Life goes on, doesn't it? Alright. Will you peace out with me now and give me all your money? You will. And the only coalition would be against... Uh, what's his face? Uh, Crimea. And I don't really care what Crimea thinks. How many admin points do I need for this? 200 in... 29. So actually, you know what? If I wait a month or two, then we'll actually be able to do it all in one go. All right, let's let's make this happen. How many rebels am I going to get murder boned by? Or wait, wait, wait. Can I actually push the rebels down? Damn, I can't. Not that easy. Don't. Oh god, plus forty percent. That's pretty messed up, man. All right. Okay, good. Our our cannons are actually forming now, though. God, we're losing so much money. That's from reinforcement costs, I believe. But that'll get much, much better once we're on our home turf. God, I hate you stupid... <laughs> yes, stupid rebels. Always rebelling around and causing me trouble. I hate it. And Muscovy has laid a claim to my throne. Wonderful. That's exactly what we need it right now. Well, actually, you know what? It's only 80%. We might be able to get away with this. Maybe. Probably not, though. But, you know, men can dream, and dreams are... Dreams are what life is all about. Yeah, hang on a second. Oh, I actually have the... No, no, no. Can't cancel that. Cancel that. All right, give me this. Oh, yeah. That money is going to... Oh, that is going to be beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean hideously bad. Oh, sweet. I didn't see the 20 army uh, stuff. 20 army tradition. I might not actually even want to claim this just yet, but I will. All right. So what do we have claims on now? We've got sweet, sweet claims on the West Dinniper. It's definitely not pronounced Dinniper, but I'm still going to pronounce it that way because I don't know any better, apparently. And how are we doing on spreading glorious colonialism? It's going to be a long way. A long way off. Oh, if only the rebels would pop up now. My life would be so much better. Oh, you know what? Get rid of that fort. I hate forts. They're expensive. I personally find they don't do that much for me. I've always been able to get by without forts. We're actually back in the black as far- oh no, we're not. We are definitely not. Never mind. Ryzan may get a crossing penalty. Can I go here and then here? This is gonna make the rebels spa- oh god. But then, the dream, the dream is, as we uh, continue reinforcing, maybe the rebels will pop on these guys and they'll fight each other and then we can mop up what's left. 
It is a dream. It is the best dream I will ever have. Probably not going to work that way. They're going to spawn here instead. Nothing I can do about it. Because that's life, man. Oh, they could spawn here instead. Well, as long as we go here and they, as long as the rebels spawn either here or here, they'll be fine. Ooh, actually, they can only spawn here at this point, I think. Is that what's going on with this? No, now they're spawning in a completely different set of provinces that I thought they weren't spawning in before, but all right. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, sieged this stuff back. It's just going to be bad no matter how you slice it, so we might as well rip this bandage off and just uh, go on with our lives. Oh, oh, right. Who do we want to rival? Because we could rival more people. Oh, wonderful. Either our friend or our ally who is not really our ally, but kind of our ally. Ally. I can't even speak. Terrible. What do we got here? Blasphemy Act. Missionary. Strength for less tolerance of heretics. You know what? I can, I can dig that. Doesn't make this any cheaper, though. God, I hate how expensive this is. Who had this horrible, horrible idea? But yeah. It, it's life and we'll figure this one out. Alright. Drop a siege on that. Kill the rest of these guys. Get in here to fight whatever we can't. Wow, 17. This is not a state, is it? Might be worth stating that up and then making this an accepted culture and all that good stuff. In due time. Just gonna keep bumping that up because we have we have years and years to get caught up in all this. So it's definitely definitely going to be a good thing. Probably, maybe, possibly. Kazani, I different guys, different guys entirely. Okay. We're going to be fine. Actually, you know what? Can we build some some buildings? Can. That'll sort of help. Taxation, not really worth it. Not terrible, but it's not great either. Alright. What are our all... Oh, we're actually making money again. Nice. But we won't be shortly. Alright, so... Now, the interesting question, I think, is do we immediately go to war with Nogai and fight Crimea, especially when we don't have much administrative power? Let's take a... Oh, and we also have a bunch of war exhaustion. Kiev. Does this require... West Dnieper area. Oh, so that's going against these guys again. And I keep forgetting that this stuff does get highlighted. And... Let's see. Oh, and this mission. Dang, I actually have to go to War of Lithuania again in order to finish that. Meanwhile, over here, that requires that. We've got Faith's Bastion. That's going to be difficult. That's going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. All provinces in the Rise. I literally just need one province for Muscovy, and there's no way they're ever going to give it to me. Because they are much bigger than me. Let's compare. We can have 25,000 and they have double that. So, yeah. We need friends in really high places if we're going to... Of course, then again, if Denmark holds on to Sweden and Norway... Uh, okay, Sweden's gone into being a dick. So, probably not going to work out for them. But we can dream. We can dream. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. The Ottomans are... When did this happen? Oh, God. And the Mamluks are losing to the Ottomans. And the Ottomans don't hate anyone that I hate. So that's definitely not gonna... Nothing good is gonna happen there. I wonder. Did I convert to Sunni somehow? The answer is maybe, I bet. 
Oh, you know, let's fabricate a claim. Why not? Uh, what is this? Our, our administrative advice. Do I actually have an administrative? Oh, I do. And we get a treasurer, or I lose legitimacy. I'll lose the legitimacy. That's probably... We don't have great legitimacy. We could strengthen our government if we had the points. Hmm. Yeah, we've we've got trouble all over our, our great nation here. And we're losing massive amounts of money. Mostly from, yeah, army maintenance. Probably from reinforcing everybody. So it, it might be in our interest to sit back for a little while and and be peaceable-like. Let's suck up to Denmark while we're doing that. I mean, we could rival Muscovy, but again, we don't really have any strong allies who would protect us. Hmm. All right, and while we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs, let's, uh, I should build one more artillery at some point. God, we're losing so much money. Actually, you know what we need? We need a master of the mint, which we can't afford. Wonderful. It's all great. Really great stuff. So yeah, we'll just work on our professionalism and our discipline and all these good things. Alright, that's made life slightly easier. Harold from Lithuania, he's doing stuff. 18,000. 24,000, holy balls. But then again, what if... What if I was to state up some of this? We could actually make a lot of money. And they're actually in our primary culture group. So they don't completely hate us. You know what? This might actually be a good idea. Or it could be a horrible idea and I've just made a terrible, terrible mistake. But I don't feel like I have. Kind of. Alright, how much... Uh, can't state that yet. Can't state that yet. How are we looking? We're looking better. Our uh, war exhaustion is still going down, so that's good. Uh, we can also lower... Uh, yeah, six provinces will be affected. Bam. Nice. Nice, that is good. That is really good. That is still really expensive, though. Alright. Damn, Kazani Separatists. So, assuming they succeed, then I can go to War of Kazan again. And that would be good, because maybe I can even get them as a rival back. That would also benefit us. Kind of tempted to just send an insult to these, these foolish fool type people. Alright, we have money though. And money is good. I am... Oh, damn, they actually, they're actually sieging my land. Get, get the hell out of here. Can't let that get away. And then rebels are going to pop up over here, as is tradition. All right. Kasim Separatist. Bah. I should have been paying attention to what was going on over here. Yeah, go, go die over there, please. They siege my land back. Yeah, you know, it looks like Muscovy will take care of that. Yeah. Wait. Oh! The Kasim Separatists are over here. I guess that kind of works out for me. We might... I was going to say we might be able to shrink them down to size, but nope. But we did manage to reduce getting more Separatism, so that's... A tiny win for the common man. You gotta take those small wins where you can get them. And another thing. 
Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Also not bad. Probably not the time to be investing in manufactories, but then again, when is a good time to invest? That's always the problem, isn't it? All right, and what do we got here? We've got 24,000 of these guys. Though, I might be able to push them down for a little bit. All right. I don't think we'll be able to get rid of them. We're going to have to deal with them at some point. But we have bought ourselves at least one year. And a lot can happen in one year. Like, these guys might stop being jerks. And that would be good. Let's see. Are there any trade centers around here that I could use to my advantage to maybe get some burgers? Oh, no, right. It's the. You actually have to have the tr provincial. Uh, or you have to have a certain amount of trade power rather than just. Um, yeah. Just other things. I should actually try and make the burgers happy, because then that would save us a little bit of... A little bit of stuff. Yeah. Oh well, you know, we'll, we'll sit on it for now, we'll kind of see where things go. We still need our... Our colonialism, anyway. And, and building up our provinces is never a bad thing anyway. So there is that. What is this? Lose stability. Wonderful. Or lose ducats. And in the long run, the ducats are probably the, the lesser evil. Oh god, what's happening over here? Why didn't you call me in to help you? Oh, you attacked Wallachia. Damn gummit. Why didn't you invite me? I would have totally come in and then... Wh wait. Are you kidding me? What's going on here? You're literally at war with just Wallachia and you're actually losing. My god. Well, actually, no. They're not They're not actually losing. They're, they're winning. Okay, never mind. You know what you're doing, Moldavia. You and your cruel, evil ruler who is cruel and evil and stuff. Tolerant, but cruel. That is an interesting combination. Oh, nice. This guy's gonna die before our next war, though. Alright, we've managed to shrink it down to from 28 to 22. Now yeah, they would gain loyalty, though. That might be worth it. So let, let's do it. Because then at least they'll stop being angry at us. And that's always a good thing. Probably. Maybe. Alright. Trade dispute. Give us a little bit of that. A little bit of that. We're so close. Lost a claim on tin or time. Now I guess I better start spying on them again. I should just go to war with no guy, shouldn't I? Yeah, take just enough land to be able to reach Kazan so we can keep doing stuff against them. And, ooh, hello. That works out kind of nicely. Do you want me my vassal? No. They never, oh, and you're allied with Muscovy, so that's going to be... Probably not a good idea. Alright. But yeah, we want to go to war with no guy so that we can eat Crimea. That's the plan. Grand master plan. And what is this? Imoretti gets a little mad at us, but they'll be fine. Okay. Man. I feel bad for Lithuania. I'm also kind of scared with whatever Muscovy might be planning. You know what? I'll call Muscovy into my war with no guy, and that way they get too busy, well, assuming they're willing to join the war. And yeah, that way, that way, 
They're too busy to fight Lithuania again. Yeah, and then we work on, like, kind of uh, trapping them in here. So they can't easily expand except by um, colonizing. And from what I remember, the AI has never been great about exploiting that sort of thing. How's Denmark feeling? Still wouldn't join me, mostly because they have too many relationships. They are actually annexing or integrating, rather, Norway. And if they can do that successfully, maybe, maybe they will be able to hold on to Sweden, possibly. It depends. We'll see how that all plays out. We are, however, wow, six ducats. You know what? Perfect time to build up our army a little bit more. I think... I mean, ah, cavalry is really expensive, though. I might just want more cannons. But we want, we want one more of that, because I like even numbers. Especially that way if I decide to split this army in half at some point. Um, hmm... Yeah, how do I want to do this exactly? You know what, I... I will build two more cavalry, and then two more infantry. And we'll leave it at that for now. And I... Oh, right, we had a general that I kind of forgot we had doing anything. Right. Oh no, Azarabia. Wait. Who's Azarabia? Oh, right, damn it, I'm losing all my claims on Crimea. Wonderful work. What are you doing? This is a war they have stuck. Are you high out of your mind? I am not going into war with you. Hmm. Why? Why would you do that? Wait. They broke their alliance! Okay. How do I do this? How do I do this? I forget whether I have to pay diplomatic points if I am separate piecing. But separate piecing might be what I want to do here. I come in, I eat as much as I can. You know what? Screw it. We're, we're going all in. All in. Turn off that fort. All in, said Gaslight before his country blew up and I almost hit the disband button for some reason. You know what, hold everyone together until we actually get into the into the fighting places. I should take Azarabia for myself. I should also mark what I want. Oh, they've actually marked everything as stuff they want. Alright. Oh right, they've got this whole like pretender rebel issue going on. No, don't don't run into them. Not like that. I mean we probably should, but if we can, if the pretender rebels would would like to maybe go somewhere else, that would be great as well. I would totally accept that. Oh, and we also have... Right, I've got... I've got Separatists. Kind of forgot that was a thing. Let's gather everyone in here. We'll take care of our Separatists, because they're going to show up at some point in the not-too-distant future. Don't want to raise more Streltsy right now. That would be bad. Really dumb. Where are you going? Somewhere. Great. Or then again, you know what, I should, I should make a point of going after their army. And uh, you should get in here. And I might just split my stack into two stacks. Oh, thank god, we have a... We have a claim. Go F yourself, Muscovy. You tried to steal from me, but in the end it was I who stole from you. And you know what? Let's build some more spies against these people. These awful, awful men. Oh. Well. 22,000 point five years. You know what? Screw it. I'll let them. I'll let them do. I'll let them show up. I guess is what I'm trying to say here. All right. That's going to get us a whole heap load of sweet, delicious uh, participation score. Yetish goal. Where is... Oh, you're going over there. You know what? I'm going to actually send... Some infantrymen to siege out the land I want. We'll see how this plays out for us. I don't even know if I need any of this land for any missions. Maybe. 
Don't you dare take it. I want that land. I don't have a claim on it, but I want it. Where the hell are you going? You think I'm just going to let you run away from me like that? Let's slow down time so I don't screw this up, because you know me, I'll find- I will find a way. Oh shoot, and then Fiodoro's coming in here, I didn't realize that was going to be a thing. I wonder why the Ottomans didn't join this war though. Like, it's not like they couldn't, unless they've seriously overextended themselves fighting the Mamluks. If only there was uh, an ambitious player. Oh, a couple of Serbian and Bosnian separatists. That's not going to stop the Ottomans. Not even, not even a little bit. Let's go this way. Try to cut them off before they can cut. Oh, why? <laughs> Don't do that. Come on. Come on. Stupid rebels. You know what? Go back into your own land. And let's kill... Yes, siege that land back so I can take it for myself. I'll lose the prestige rather than the stability, because stability is harder to get back, relatively speaking. Oh, that sweet war participation score. I wonder where they're running off to. Was my 55% baby. Where are they going? The Kursk. I don't really know what they're what they're playing at here. But uh Yeah. It's it's there, basically. Still got some unrest. Is most unfortunate, but life goes on. I really want to siege this back. This precious land. You know, you probably shouldn't be standing there either. That's very bad. What's the most valuable province in this area? Yeah, it's all kind of the same. Same-ish. Oh, oh crap. Why did I know that was going to happen? Whereas if I can get the AI to go down here and then I can make sure I take everything. Oh god, they're too, they're too big. They're too strong. Well, that hurt. And... Oh no. Everything's just falling apart here. Which is less good. I also think the AI is willing to give me less land if I... Let's see, 1514, 1521, 1520, 1521, I think, yeah. That should be fine. Let's not uh, spend any more points here. I don't want to fight the Pretender Rebels myself, but I'm probably going to have to fight the Pretender Rebels myself. That's just the way of things, isn't it? And you're seriously making a never comeback for my land. Did you actually fight? They must have fought, obviously. And our... Our theologian died. That's unfortunate. Can we get a cheap Master of the Mint? No. Well, I mean... No. No, that's just not... It's not gonna work for us. And that angers me, especially we have no manpower. Can I suck up a little bit of manpower here? I could, but I shouldn't. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've got an easy way out of this. Unless I raise more Streltsy. Why do you keep going back and forth between my provinces? Go after someone else for once. Leave me alone. It's not gonna happen, but again, a man can dream. I'm gonna have to kill their pretender rebels, aren't I? And then we're gonna have to sit for a while, because clearly... Clearly, this isn't going to work out very well for us. I don't want to get the crossing penalty. Alright. You convinced me. Alright, where are you going? Oh, you're going over here. You know what? Let's... I want my war participation, damn it. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. We're gonna skin you alive, my friend. Skin you alive. All right. That better of. It's less. It's. How is it so much less? My men have bled for this. Okay, and you're going to Yedishkul. Good view. Let's uh, drop two sieges. We'll put someone here. That should. No, I want it time for myself. Damn you to hell, Trebizond. Coming out of nowhere like that. All right, it's too late for me. Oh, oh! But then they're then they're leaving because the AI is weird like that. Makes strange, incomprehensible decisions about its life. I ask myself, do I separate peace out now? Yeah, they'll be mad at me. But is it worth it? The answer is maybe. Yeah. I think this works out mostly for me. All right. Give me your land. Not gonna work. Because I need at least 10 war score to make demands. Well, that sucks. All right, fine. I'll just make sure these guys, if, if they just sit on Crimea, that's gonna, that'll be good enough, probably. Why do you do this to me? Now I've got to go up here and fight you instead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, they are going to Crimea. And if they just sit around sieging that out. All right. Yeah, you, you cowards, you run. Don't think you can get away. They're going to get away. That angers me to no end. But what am I going to do? Not a whole heck of a lot. I think they're going to try sieging their land back. I should take Yedish Gull as well for myself. Oh, they can't get away. And what is this? Gain some autonomy or lose inflation for a bunch of admin. I don't think that's worth it. I mean, if I want to lower this, I'm going to, yeah, spend 74. Oh, wow, we're actually gaining a lot of, you know what? No, no, let's not spend any more admin points on that. What do I feel like I'm most behind on? Probably military. You know what? I'm gonna actually gonna go all the way for it. Why not? That might help. How are we doing when it comes to rebels anyway? Great Horde, they're still kind of hoarding it up. Our participation score has... Okay, it's 35%. I guess if I just keep fighting, that better not raise your wars, your war score. I don't know why it would, but you never know. Uh, Austria, the Platinate. Oh yeah, what's going on with the HRE? The League Wars have not begun yet. Oh, you know what I should totally do? Wait until this is up to... Um, you only just embraced the Renaissance? Loser. I should wait until this is almost sieged out. And by that I mean like wait until it's in the positives. And then, then we sn uh, strike. I'm gonna say snatch, but I don't really know what we would be snatching precisely. All right. You know, I don't feel like I have as much control over this situation as I would like, but um, you know, it's not bad. If they give me at least these provinces, I'll be uh, Mansur and uh, Kizilyar, I will be happy. They're probably not, because, you know, AI allies are generally trash. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, no guy. Just sit on my capital and, you know, yes, sit on my capital. That'll be good. Just sit there and don't do anything until I'm ready to... Ready to fight these, uh, these guys. And what is this? Ooh, that's actually not bad. But I'll go with this instead. Probably shouldn't, but I will. This war's got to be over soon, right? Ah, but then again, the AI takes, like, forever 
to actually make a decision about stuff. And this war is basically in the bag at this point. So damn it, I'm going to gonna kill these rebels. Maybe they'll go over here instead of to my land. I will take this for my own and I'm going to just peace out. Oh right, I'm also an idiot because I forgot since this already belonged to us. Yeah. Right, I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh, and it's also been another like super long episode. You guys knew what was going on, but I didn't clearly. All right, can I can I get out of this? All right, I'll drop time. Just uh, why do you hate me, game? You know, it it, it really doesn't matter. This this war's got to be over soon. And I could always just stop participating, I guess. Like, I don't have to keep fighting. That's just something I'm doing because I choose to. I suppose. And I guess it makes me a good friend or something, but, uh, you know. Life and things and disappointment. I lost?! Oh. Oh. And they took Ryzan! God damn it. That is the ultimate, uh, the ultimate disappointment. How the balls did that happen? Okay, had to take a bit of a time out. We're going to wrap this episode up now. I, I just want out of this war, to be honest, at this point. This is just, uh, it's not good. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video.